Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Praveen Kumar Sriram. I'm a Microsoft Certified Trainer working as a Solutions Architect on Azure. Today we are going to learn what is an Azure Resource Group and how to create an Azure Resource Group using Bicep. All right, let's start. What is an Azure Resource Group? So first of all, a resource group is created in the context of an Azure subscription. That means subscription is the parent of a resource group. One subscription can contain multiple resource groups. And usually a resource group is created for every project, for every environment. That means if you have three environments, for example, develop environment, staging environment, and production environment. In that case, an individual resource group is created for each environment separately. Of course, this is an example. Depending on how complex your project is, based on that, the rule for creating a resource group might be different. Okay? And then the resource group is a logical container that contains your Azure resources. Probably all those resources are related for a given Azure solution. And resource group also stores metadata about its children, the resources which are created inside that resource group. And resource group also helps us in sharing access to other team members using role-based access control. For example, let's say in a given resource group, there are 10 resources. And you want one of your team members to work on a particular resource or probably all the resources. So what you can do is, you can just provide them access on top of resource group. So they will be able to work on any of the resource within that resource group. All right, let's start creating a resource group within a subscription using Bicep. Let's head over to Visual Studio Code. All right, let's create a new file for starting the Bicep scripts. I would like to name it as one dot resource group dot bicep. Don't forget to put the extension as dot bicep. Now resource you would like to create a resource and let's provide a symbolic name. Is it bicep? Resource group of type Microsoft dot resources slash resource groups. Let me try uh, doing it again so that I get IntelliSense. Microsoft dot resources dash resource group and you provide an API version and then choose the required properties automatically. It add all the required properties. Now provide a name to your resource group and choose location. I'll go ahead and choose East US and you can use the location based on your requirements. Now I would like to use the same symbolic name that I have used for our resource group.
and there are some errors let's fix them so the error says the resource group is not valid for this resource type permitted scope is subscription all right so now as we already learned that the resource group can be created under a subscription so subscription is the parent of resource group so what we need to mention is we need to mention target scope target scope equal to subscription now this looks good all right we are done let's go ahead and execute this script go to terminal let's issue the azure cli command az deployment and we would like to run this bicep script in the context of a subscription so provide the scope as sub and then create the deployment by passing a location and then the file name is one dot group dot and press enter yeah it is running that means syntactically this file is cut now let's navigate to our portal and choose a subscription and then Within the subscription, search for deployment. So our deployment got succeeded. You can click on this. It says your deployment is complete, and we can navigate to our resource group by clicking on this button. Yes, the resource group got successfully created. Right? Now, right now this is empty and in the upcoming videos, we will learn how to create resources within this resource group. So it would like, it would look like this, right? Our resource group right now is empty, but we will be creating some services like web apps, which are in some app service plan. And then we will create some APIs and this API would be calling, would be called by this web app. We link these two app services and we will also create app insights and the app insights will be linked with web app. And then we are also going to create Azure SQL database and that will also be linked with web app and then we will create a storage account which will also be linked with web app and then we are going to also create a redis cache which will be again linked with web app and finally we will create some azure functions which will be used as background services in the upcoming videos we will be creating all these resources using bicep that's it for today thank you